My name is Chet Abbott, and uh, this is Joshua Brown. Hello. And I am a director, producer, everythinger, and so is Josh. Yep, they call us Predators, producer editors. The Red Rider is just a guy's action movie. It's about motorcycles, speed, adrenaline, and fighting. Mm -hmm. And really just kind of like a love affair with machines, kind of. It's just, it's just, we just want it to be a fun adrenaline rush. Filming the action sequence, uh, we did a few different types of uh, styles. We, we did chase vehicles, so we were shooting from a moving vehicle. And then we also did stationary shots, and um, then we did like tracking shots where you actually follow the action. So it's we, we're gonna have a bunch of different mix-ups, and we're gonna do a few like on board with the motorcycle too. Um, we're gonna we're gonna cut it all together, and it's gonna look really great. Logistically, it's extremely difficult because you have to reset the shot each time, and that requires physically moving locations constantly. Plus, it's uh, getting the high-speed shots and making it look convincing. Yeah. is proven to be the most challenging. Uh, we're still in production for it. It's um, If you count all the days that we've actually shot, it'll be about uh, five or six days total. Um, and we've got about three days left. Ideally, the Red Rider will be a showpiece that we can uh, show people saying you know, we can do good work. And we'd like to enter it into a few festivals. And depending on the stipulations for those festivals, we may not be able to release it online until it's been showed at the festivals. Sure. So, uh, we'd like to try to get in a festival first, and if not, or if we decide not to, we're going to put it online, uh, probably at furyfilms.net. You can find it there. Ideally, the, uh, the idea is we're shooting it in three parts, and this is the first part. And if people like what we see, we can help further the funding for parts two and three. Originally, we were going to just do it short with um, no finances and just do it in a weekend, but we thought, well, let's make this good. So we ended up using uh, the Kickstarter platform to help fund the movie. Um, and we we're actually quite shocked about that we even got all the money. Did so not think it was going to work at all. No. The budget for the Red Rider is $2,500. And that was based on uh, partially what we had already spent and then what we anticipated spending after that uh, based on locations, food, um, a little bit of equipment or expendables that we needed and the possibility of uh, having to rent a few things. And we'd also, we also wanted to be able to pay our talent a little bit. The people that have get, put their time in for our project, we wanted to pay them a little bit. So we've got a little bit set aside. And it's, you know, it's obviously not really compensating them for their time, but it's enough to show them, hey, we really appreciate what you guys did for us. If we didn't start off with some sort of film program background, yeah. like, like CSUN, it would be, it would just be a mess. So I mean, I, I we highly recommend like taking the film course and uh, just to get where you are today. And and we still have a long way to go, like by all means. So I mean, it just helps to have that that film uh, class background. 